Hi hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's like the fourth time I'm trying to film this intro. I'm just a little bit rusty. I haven't been vlogging since I was abroad. So lots going on over this past weekend. My sister got engaged, which was really exciting. And I just wanted to be present for all of that, especially since I was already jet lagged. I didn't want to overwork myself. So I have honey here and it's a Monday and we're going to do a little weekly vlog. Um, I'm probably thinking it's going to be a couple days in my life and I'll have some, what? <laughs> and I'll have some fun things trickled in between in addition to me just getting my life together after being away. I went into the office today, which I normally don't go on Mondays recently, but I wanted to just get back into my routine and get caught up on a bunch of things. So I just got home. It's 5.30 and I'm going to a little workout class with Bandier. So I wanted to take you guys along to that and that's why we are just picking up the vlog on a random Monday evening. Yeah, so I am going to shower quickly and then get ready. We are wearing, I think, workout sets from Bandier once we get there. So I'm just gonna throw on a random like athleisure outfit and then we will get ready to go. But make sure you guys are subscribed if you like New York City content. I live in New York City and I work here also. So that is the basis of my vlogs, just like day in my life types of things. Some homey vlogs sprinkled in between there and then obviously the occasional haul and styling video because I am obsessed with fashion. So I'm gonna get ready quickly. I also need to chug water because I feel like I have not been doing a really great job hydrating since I've been back. Um, and I feel like that'll help with any of the jet lag that I'm experiencing. So kind of random, but we're gonna get ready now and I'll show you guys my outfit before I leave. Okay, I just got dressed quickly and I'm ready to head out to the event. So I put on one of my bandier sets. This is like a navy one, I think. Yeah, it's definitely navy. Um, it's like a really buttery material. I have the same one in black and these are my favorite ones. So I think when I do my whole like workout wardrobe reset, I'm probably just gonna go with bandier sets. And then over the top, I put on my Arquette jacket that you guys will probably see me wear a ton while I still can. Maison Kitsune tote bag. I kind of wish I wasn't wearing this one because it doesn't really match my jacket well, but I don't have time to change it. And then my socks are from H&M. These are my favorite crew socks, but I also have a pair that I can recommend you guys from Amazon that are super cheap. So I'll link those for you. And then my sneakers are New Balance 2002 R's, but I don't think this colorway is available so I can like some similar ones. So this is the athleisure on the go look. And then I also have a crew neck inside here just in case it's a little colder when I'm heading back. But I think I only have like a three minute walk to the subway and then a two minute walk to the Vivral showroom after I get off the subway. So I don't have too much walking to do outside anyway, but just in case always need to be prepared for the weather in New York City. So let's head out. We just finished our workout. My cheeks are rosy, not from blush, but from, <laughs> from the actual workout. Um, they were like, yeah, it's just to be like a warm little warm up Pilates. It's not. It was probably like my butt was cramped up. Like I couldn't move my leg. And then what else? Got energy drinks, smart sweets. We got some energy drinks, which I've never had before, but they're delicious. They're like, basically better than sour watermelons, I would say, yeah. like the Sour Patch ones. And then there's pizza, which I think I took a clip of, but are you gonna eat any of it? I think so. I feel like I'm full right now, yeah. even though I haven't had dinner yet. So I haven't like either, but I feel like that's gonna need to be at healthy this week. Mm -hmm. I said that today my goal was to eat a healthy meal. I wrote it in my five minute journal, Aww. which we also got five minute journals. So I'm excited to keep using those. Say <laughs> hi to the vlog. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we'll be here for a little longer. We're gonna have some, might have some pizza, and then that'll be it for the night. But super fun, loving it. Good morning, you guys. It's a brand new day. It's Tuesday, and it's around 9 a.m. I woke up at seven this morning. Oh, we have people beeping in the streets. What else is new? Hello, New York City. <laughs> Um, but I went to Trader Joe's early this morning. I got there when they opened. They had everything in stock except for, I couldn't find the chip witches, which was probably a sign. 
but they had everything that I needed to get. I got like four packets of their taco seasoning because it's the best ever and they haven't had it the two past times that I went. And I had to get this other brand from like a little bodega that was really crappy. So I was like, we're getting the taco mix. But then after that, I just came home and unpacked everything. I've been working for the past couple hours and now I'm gonna try the Trader Joe's cold brew. I saw it in the store and was like, I like their regular, I think it's just like coffee. I don't know, it comes in like a bigger container. This one's like a very small, like one size, I mean, one serving size. So we'll see how it is. I wasn't gonna drink coffee this morning. Well, that's not true. I was planning on drinking coffee this morning, but I didn't wanna buy one because there's one place that I do wanna try and I will take you guys to it, but it's a little bit expensive. And so I was not prepared to spend that this morning. So I was like, we'll just, Go to Trader Joe's, get the one that's like $2 and I'll make that at home. I probably won't drink the entire bottle anyway, just cause I'm trying it for the first time. But yeah, we went to the event last night. That was like one of my favorite events I've ever been to. It was not too long. It was like health and wellness centered. It was super positive and I loved the workout that Kira Jones did. So she is the founder of Cacti Wellness. So there was Cacti Wellness, um, Vivrel and Bendy are all doing this sort of like collaboration together for this event. And I went with Avery, we met some new girls, which was really fun. And I just loved it overall. I felt so great afterwards and I was waiting for my boyfriend to get home anyway. So I was like, I might as well go to a nice little event and I was gonna go to the gym anyway. So it kind of substituted for that and ended up being amazing. So I was so happy, I was wearing that coral like orangey set and I absolutely loved it which is probably super surprising to you guys because you know that I like don't really vibe with the color kind of thing when it comes to my wardrobe but I'm thinking that maybe my workout wear is a area where I can like experiment with color or like have some color in my wardrobe just because the rest of it is neutral as I'm wearing right now so I actually have this wrapper from the gummies that I was eating that I finished this morning which is a sin to eat candy this early, but it's actually like not that bad for you. So I was like, whatever, we'll just eat them because I was craving something really sugary after I had my savory breakfast. So they're called Smart Sweets and I'm sure you guys have probably heard of them before, but I'm obsessed. I had a pack when I was there and then I took one for the road because they were amazing and they had like cute little snacks like this. So that was really nice. They had pizza that I for some reason was not hungry last night. I don't know what it was. I don't know if my body's still adjusting to like my meal schedule, but I was not hungry and I really wish I was because the pizza smelled amazing and they had bandier written on it, which I thought was super cute. So yeah, we had a really fun time at the event last night. I am working from home today, just getting some stuff done, getting my ducks back in a row because I feel like they were a little bit scattered when I got back from my trip. So I went and did my grocery shopping this morning. Our fridge is so incredibly full because Amanda ordered her groceries on, I think it's Amazon Prime that brings Whole Foods to your house. So she had her groceries last night. I went this morning, our fridge is packed. And then I also wanna take my laundry too. So we have some little things happening here and there. So it's just gonna be a little bit more of like a chill at home vlog, which I kind of like mixing in between the chaos of like running around New York City. So where is I going with this? So I'm just gonna show you guys the fridge and then I'll continue on with work, but how? Stunning is this light. It's also really, really nice out today. So I kind of wish I was taking you guys out and about, but I think the only thing I'll have to do out in the city today is bringing my laundry and that's not super exciting. So we'll see. Okay, so the air fryer is on top of the fridge from my hash brown that I made this morning, but this is what we're dealing with. I had to really organize things and we kind of have this mini fridge. I don't know if you guys can tell like with my hand reference, it's probably not helpful, um, but it's like a pretty small fridge. It fits perfectly in this little nook, but that means that when we both go grocery shopping and it's like super full like this, we have to be very strategic with the way that we organize things. So I'm gonna try to eat some of this food so that we can minimize the chaos going on in here. Okay, one more super random thought that I had now that I peeked in the fridge is that I really wanna make chocolate covered strawberries. Those are like my favorite I don't wanna say they're my favorite dessert because I barely have them and I feel like there's so much to choose from, but I think that they're my favorite chocolate covered dessert, we'll say. And I'm just like kind of craving them a little bit and I'm seeing people make them on their stories. So I'm like, maybe we need to pick up some chocolate and make some. I think the bodega near me has 
little like Nestle chocolate chips. So I could just melt those and use that. But I don't know, maybe that'll be on the agenda. And I need to show you guys honey right now too, because she's just like <laughs> bathing in the sun on the floor. Hey, what are you doing over there? You're not even going to turn around and look at me. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you getting your son in? Yeah. Oh, you're being such a good girl. Yes, you're being so chill. Okay, so I'm gonna try the coffee. My only complaint so far is that if I didn't wanna drink the entire bottle, I don't think you can recap it and use it later. So I had to pour all of it in the glass. I tipped out a little bit because I had a little bit too much in the glass, but. Okay, that is strong. It definitely needs, like it smells really good and I think that was my first impression with it, but for me, someone who likes lattes, like sweet lattes, I definitely need to add syrup. And you guys, Amanda watches my vlog sometimes, but remember I told you that the vanilla was like super low and I was like, how is she finishing this? And it's basically because she drinks the really, really strong espresso from Nespresso, they're like double shots and they're like the most roasty coffee I've ever made myself. And yesterday she was like, oh yeah, I ordered more vanilla cause like we ran out and I'm like, ma'am. I mean, maybe it's normal to finish a bottle like this in that amount of time, but like for reference, I mean, she also makes coffee every morning and I probably only make it here like two times a week. So she definitely gets her use out of it. But I was just like laughing to myself because I just mentioned that she was like rip roaring through it. So but this definitely needed some flavor. It kind of reminds me of the color of Butler's cold brew which is ironic because we're drinking this out of a butler glass. Okay, 1000 times better and I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. I think I need to add a little bit more milk and that's just something that's my preference, but the flavor of it is actually really, really nice. And I mean, it's a cold brew, so it's supposed to be pretty strong. So I think if that's my only complaint that it's more of like a preference thing, as opposed to it being the actual like Trader Joe's coffee, but really only just like the packaging that you can't reuse it. And the fact that I have to like really sweeten this up are my only two complaints. So eight out of 10, highly recommend. Also very affordable and a lot cheaper than buying a coffee anywhere in New York City. Hi guys, it's way later and I'm sat in front of my mirror trying to touch up my makeup because I don't know if I even mentioned this, but today's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. Um, my mom's calling me. <laughs> morning guys I realized that I left you off on a pretty abrupt stop yesterday basically my mom called me and we were on the phone for about 15 minutes which took up half the time that I had to get ready for my Valentine's Day dinner and I didn't have time to show you guys my outfit or chat to you at all or show you the final look or the makeup or the hair <laughs> or anything like that so I'm sorry for that, but it is Wednesday now and I have a ton that I need to do today. So I figured I would pick up the camera again for this little weekly vlog and keep it going. So I just woke up, I mean, didn't just wake up. It's like 9 a.m. and I got up at seven. So I did a workout. That's why I'm wearing the exact same set that you guys saw me in yesterday. No shame. I didn't end up being able to do my workout before dinner last night because the time just like really snuck up on me. I did the dishes and then basically had to get ready. So. I put my set back on. I did a little Pilates circuit this morning, which you guys would have saw from Kira Jones. So she is actually the instructor that 
we took when we did the Bandera event and I loved the workout. So I took a couple of the exercises and her five minute warm up from there. And then she also has another video that has like a full body Pilates circuit. So I'll link that for you guys because I really, really liked it. I was out of breath and shaking at the same time, which you know means that it is a really good workout. And it's something that's super quick too. It was like 25, 30 minutes. And I feel like if I do that every single day, then I'll start to tone up and like recognize the change in my body. So that's the plan. I just really liked it. And it was a really nice way to start my morning. And then I had a little peanut butter and rice cake and banana on top, which was really good. I feel very fueled and ready for the day. I have my work computer on the couch here. Sorry, I always turn the lights off in the living room. It's best for the lighting. Um, It's a beautiful day in New York. I have to go and get my nails done because they're pretty grown out. I got them done two weeks ago, so it's time. And my cuticles are so dry for some reason. So I'm gonna keep trying to stay hydrated and chug my water because I think that's probably why. I was so, so bad at staying hydrated when we were on our trip because I didn't want to constantly have to go to the bathroom. So I'm trying to bring that back up. I have to drop my laundry off because I didn't do it yesterday and get a coffee possibly. But for some reason, I'm not really craving coffee in the morning recently. I kind of wait until the afternoon and then I use it as like a little fun treat slash like pushing through and getting stuff done. So I don't know what it is. I think it's because I've been having like substantial like fuller breakfast that I don't want to add a coffee into that so i'll probably go and drop my laundry off in about i don't know maybe like an hour and grab a coffee while i'm out and then i plan to get my nails done during my lunch break because i'm gonna try this place that's like basically way way closer than the other one i go to i do love Venus Stella. that's like my favorite salon to go to in new york city if any of you guys need a recommendation but just for like my lunch break, last time I was 15 minutes late with walking there, getting my nails done and walking back. So I wanted to just go here because I don't really have too much time to be able to walk down there. So I figured I'd go to a place that's closer to me so that I can get it done within that hour. That's all we have going on for today. I feel like I just listed off a ton of things, but I'll take you guys along to everything. And I am gonna be trying a new coffee shop, which I'm excited to take you guys to. I think it's called Okay, people beeping, what else is new? <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna go to the, is it the Lost Draft or the Draft Cafe? I don't know what it's called, but you guys will see that later. Okay, so I have a question for anyone out there who makes their own latte at home. When you brew the coffee first, do you brew it over ice or do you just brew it and then pour it on top of the ice like I just did here? Because I've seen people do it both ways. I think it doesn't really matter technically in the end because you're still melting ice into the coffee. So if it's watering it down, it's either watering it down when it's on the actual plate being brewed or it's being watered down once you put it all together in here. Since it's being poured over ice anyway, I don't know if it makes a difference, but if anybody knows, let me know. And if I should change it up, then leave me a comment down below. Good morning, guys. It's another day, as you guys can probably... Actually, I don't think you'd be able to tell because I'm in my room and there's never sunlight in here. Um, but I left you guys off when I was making a coffee at home yesterday. And then that was it for... What's today? Thursday. That was it for Wednesday in this vlog, which is very, very minimal. <laughs> So my company was having a Valentine's Day um, like celebration yesterday, like a little party, and I was going to go to it until later in the day. I kind of just, I have this strange thing and I always blame it on being a twin, but I get like social anxiety leading up to an event sometimes. It doesn't happen all the time, um, but I say it's because I'm a twin because when I was younger, I always had someone else walking into birthday parties with me and walking in on the first day of school and like, you know, making the journey there with me. And then once I was there, obviously I was fine and we would branch off and talk to different people and do different things. But 
I guess now that I'm 27, this is something that I noticed that I have to work on a little bit because anytime I feel this way and then I actually go to something, I'm always fine. And it's not like I'm antisocial or anything. It's just like a weird thing that I do. So yeah, I don't really talk about when I'm feeling a little bit odd on my channel, but I also don't want you guys to think that I'm like fine all the time. Um, so yeah, last night I basically just watched a couple of vlogs. There's a hair in my eye. Yeah, so I watched some vlogs and did my five minute journal and went to sleep. And I honestly had a really, really deep sleep until I woke up this morning at seven. And I was able to fit in a little workout, which I was really happy about. I had some puffins for breakfast, planned my day, did my five minute journal. And now it's around 8.05, 8.10. And I'm trying to get ready quickly because I want to be in the office a little bit earlier today because I have dinner later with some of the girls. So, um, and I actually wasn't going to vlog anything today because I'm like, oh, I'm going to work. That's boring. But I figured I would just get ready with you guys in the morning. And then I have dinner in Brooklyn later, which is going to be super exciting. And I was just saying that I want to go to Brooklyn more. So we'll be in Williamsburg. I don't really know where that is in reference to other things in Brooklyn, um, but I'm gonna go straight from the office. So I have to be dressed and ready to go for dinner. So that's why I'm getting a little bit more, or it's taking me a little longer to get ready than usual. Um, but I'm just using the nude sticks right now. This is the shade Sunkiss. It's going on my eyes, it's going on my cheeks. I also have a couple of meetings today. I was gonna work from home um, just so that I could leave from here to go to dinner, but I worked from home the past couple days and the pigeons are out of control, like way worse than they normally are. And so I'm like, I need to just go into the office and I'm hoping that because people were at the party last night that they're not going to be in there, that they're going to be like, <laughs> I don't know, recovering at home or something. But I'm also going to stop at Birch Coffee on the way up there. That was on my five minute journal of what would make today great. <laughs> was me stopping at Birch Coffee. So we're gonna do that. I was also going to use my Westman Atelier blush, but I think I'm gonna wear my black speckled blazer. And I don't know why, but I really like this um, sort of like, is this like a more berry color when I'm wearing black, just because I feel like it, I don't know, it makes my cheeks pop a little bit more than usual. The other really nice thing about getting up earlier in the morning is that I can start drinking water earlier. And I know that sounds like kind of strange, but I've been trying to be a little bit better about my water intake. As you guys know, I think I've mentioned it nine times in this video alone, but just getting up earlier, like way before I'm even drinking a coffee, I feel like helps me to fit in like at least two out of my five glasses of water for the day, which is good because I don't know if anyone else is like this, but once I start drinking my coffee, I kind of get full because it's like a huge cup and normally I'm getting a big one because I like it. <laughs> um, and then I feel like I don't have enough room in my stomach to drink water. I don't know, until like the afternoon and then I'm fine. Um, but so yeah, I'm trying to start drinking my water earlier. Something else that's a little bit strange for me over the past couple of days is that I haven't really been drinking coffee in the morning as you guys can see it's I mean it's not really anymore but I'm like completely fine like bright eyed and bushy tailed in the morning I'm not the type of person who has to like get out of bed and dart straight toward the coffee machine um and I've been waiting until like the afternoon to have my coffee which is honestly nice because it's something to look forward to and it's more of like a pick-me-up after lunch but the only thing that I found is I normally crave it around like 2 p.m. and usually I end lunch at like 1 30 so I'm like if I'm super full from lunch I'm not gonna want to have coffee so I was having it a little bit later at like 4 p.m. um which I'm still sleeping fine and everything it doesn't really affect my sleeping pattern so I've just been drinking it later but now that I'm going into the office I will grab one on the way in so that I'm having it earlier in the day with all the stuff that I still have to catch up on I can't believe it's day four of me being back from PTO and I still have such a crazy amount of emails so I'm excited to go into the office and just sit with my AirPods in, throw on a podcast and just really like get all of that stuff done because 
it's a little out of control and I have like obviously other things to do besides answering emails so I really just want to get through those so that I can focus on other things because I manage like 80 stores and so it just gets a little bit out of control sometimes I don't manage the actual stores that was sounding really dramatic but my like sector of the business is like only me so in my like area of expertise I'm the only person who does service the stores so it is a lot I get like a ton of inquiries a day and they're not like back and forth emails it's like everything's addressed to me and so I have to answer every single one and a lot of it the time it takes me like you know I have to sign into apps and stuff in order to do all that so anyway boring stuff but I'm just gonna curl my hair quickly I think I have like five more minutes before I need to get dressed but I will show you guys what I want to wear today because it's not this sweater even though you would think it would be because I'm wearing it right now after a workout okay I'm finally dressed and ready for the work day nothing too crazy but I did want to wear this blazer so I kind of chose this piece first and then styled everything else around it but I put on a black like crew neck t-shirt underneath. I think this is like $9 from H&M. And then I have on my Zara cigarette leg trousers. This is an instance where I wish I had cigarette leg trousers in the same way that I ended up buying straight leg trousers that have belt loops in it because I would have wanted to break up the black a little bit with the belt. But I feel like since I'm wearing the blazer over the top, it doesn't really matter because you can't see um, like where the pants meet the shirt. But my blazer is from Nasty Gal. I'm obsessed with this, I think. I got this in a size four, but it's already super oversized. But this is the first blazer, aside from one of my brushed wool ones, that's really oversized. And I actually really like the way that it looks. So yeah, all black base, black tote bag. And then I also am wearing loafers just to make it look a little bit more businessy. I really like to dress up for the office and look a little bit more like elevated casual. So. If you guys are the same way, then hopefully this brings you some inspo and let's head off into the office for the day. Just kidding, we're not stopping at Birch, we're stopping at Urban Backyard instead because I took too long getting ready. Coffee is secured. The only bad thing is that I now have to travel on the subway. Oh, they have a store. Maybe they're doing work on it. Um, but now I have to travel up to Midtown with little coffee on the subway but it's a gorgeous day someone was just playing um a really good song with the windows rolled down and past me so vibes are high out here in nyc Good morning, you guys. It's Friday now. I kind of fell off of vlogging yesterday, which I expected a little bit because I had a work day in the office and then I was going to dinner after that with Avery, Sammy, and Steph Roca. So we went to this restaurant in Brooklyn called Planta. And you guys, this was the first time that I've ever had vegan food and this is like aside from if you were to just order a salad from a restaurant and it already being like something that doesn't have like animal products in it but this was like a full-on vegan restaurant i had broccoli we got this crispy rice dish they had whipped ricotta which ended up just tasting like hummus which was really really good um and what else did we have we had vegan pizza and everything was honestly like amazing i think that we were just talking about it and saying like if they just like called it pizza with like tomato sauce or whatever and just didn't say that it was like I think they were calling it cashew mozzarella and it did not taste like mozzarella whatsoever but it was still amazing so we were saying like if they just wrote like the name of the dish and then had the ingredients in it instead of it trying to be I guess like something it's not if that makes sense um but yeah all in all really really good restaurant um, the prices aren't too crazy and they have a bunch of different locations. So it was very, very good. And I woke up this morning, did not do my workout yet, but I'm going to do it in a little bit after I've had like my coffee and stuff. Um, because Amanda is being the biggest angel ever. And she was like, I'm going to go to draft, which is the coffee shop I've been wanting to try with you guys. 
And she was like, do you want me to get you anything? It's a Friday treat. So she's bringing me a coffee back after her workout, which is so nice of her. And so I'm just going to kind of digest from breakfast. I had like eggs and berries. I know that's like a disgusting combination, but I obviously eat them separately. By the way, I'm putting on the Elemis Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Masks. I used these when Vanessa came before um, my sister was getting engaged and they were amazing. So anyway, I had my fruit and my eggs and now I need to digest, but then I'm gonna have a coffee, okay? Pretty sure I'm not supposed to drop this on the ground. It's like rule number one, don't drop your eye patch. Eye patch. <laughs> don't drop your eye, what are these called? Eye mask on the ground. But it was, okay, it was in between these two papers, so it's clean. So that is the plan. We have a nice little work from home um Friday oh I also went and got my laundry which I'm super proud of that I got my laundry done because that was one of my new year's resolutions was to go and bring my laundry once a week and then now that I am actually in the middle of it I don't need to go once a week I just don't produce that much laundry so I'm going every other week and I've been um really sticking with that so I'm very proud for that and I feel like more I don't know I feel more at ease which sounds crazy but like I feel calmer when I have everything in my closet so that when I'm actually getting dressed and going somewhere it's not like I only have certain things to choose from it's like all of my layers are there all of my you know undershirts my black long sleeve bodysuit from charcoal is always in the wash and I'm like I need to wear that every day so that's just a little bit inconvenient but obviously we have to wash it and I just need to get another one so yeah, I'm just gonna be sat at my desk working for the next couple hours, but I did realize that I never told you guys the story and it was when I was editing back my Amsterdam vlog that I had mentioned that something happened on the plane and I didn't end up telling you guys about it. I don't know if I told you in Copenhagen, but I don't think I did. So I had someone actually comment this morning to tell the story. So the story was we were on the plane. It was a full flight. Like we were all like there weren't any empty seats on the flight. Me and my friend Daisy were in the same row, but we had someone sitting in between us. And then behind us, there were these men. They were not boys. They were like full on grown men. I would guess they were like probably in their mid thirties and we're on the plane. There's like turbulence throughout the flight, which they had mentioned. So everyone was like aware of it, but probably in the last like 45 minutes, one of them decides to do the oli 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 oi 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 like the entire chant and screamed it scared the crap out of like a lot of people which you obviously don't know when you're on a flight with that many people who has flight anxiety like who's just like doesn't have flight anxiety but maybe the turbulence is making them nervous and you're like randomly screaming and scaring the crap out of everybody and I'm like can we please grow up so I don't know immaturity that I've never seen before it's just like you're on a flight with a bunch of different people it's not like anyone can move away from you or get off and they were just being so loud and obnoxious and I turned around and I was like are you 12 years old and he was like laughing and I was like I feel like I'm in middle school where like the boys are trying to get the girls attention and they're acting out which like they weren't even trying to get anyone's attention specifically which I think is kind of worse they were just looking for attention in general and I was like oh my goodness so we get off the plane and mind you like I only said that one thing and I don't even know if he heard me I'm not the type of person who's gonna like turn around and yell at somebody but it was super like immature inconsiderate like have some respect for the people around you we're literally on a cramped plane so that's basically what happened it wasn't a huge deal but I was like people need to like grow up in like the simplest form like just grow up and we wouldn't have these issues but that's something I've never experienced on a flight before and I also thought it was kind of weird that the flight attendants didn't do anything they kind of were just like okay and I was like what do you mean okay like can someone tell them to be quiet please anyway okay so eye patches are on I'm gonna leave these on for about 10 minutes and continue answering my emails and then once Amanda gets back from the workout it's actually funny because she's going to the Nespresso store afterwards and we're going to do the buy 10 sleeves, get one free deal. And then she's also going to pick up coffee. So it's just going to be like caffeine overload in this apartment, which I'm actually really excited for. So when she gets back with the latte, I will try it with you guys and let you know my review because apparently we've turned into a New York City coffee shop channel, which is completely fine with me.
my lunch break and I still have no makeup on and dry shampoo in my hair, but I feel like this is just the vibe today because it's rainy out. But I have a super exciting package that I just received and I was wondering why the box was so large because I know what's in here and that particular item is not big at all. So I was kind of confused, but that all made sense because um, this company is really into being the best packaging ever. So I have a bit of a pinch me package here and I call it that because I'm just like, how do I have this in my hands right now? But just a little backstory, I got my Sephora gift card for my birthday. If you guys watched that vlog where I did a Sephora haul, one of the things was my peony and blush suede diffuser. And I'm not even kidding, like I'm obsessed with the way that it looks, the way that it smells, the company in general. I've had that open for probably a month and a half and there's literally, I'm gonna show you guys, there's barely any missing. I'm gonna try to hold it, I'm gonna try to hold it flat, but this didn't even come all the way full, like up here, it was full to this line and look how much is left. It's already been a month and a half. So this is gonna last me like probably two years. So these are definitely more expensive. I do think that they last a lot longer than regular diffusers. I've had Nest diffusers before that have kind of emptied out a lot quicker than this one. But I mean, it's just like the scent, the packaging, everything. But I love the Peony and Blush Suede scent in general. And when I picked this up, I went a little bit like crazy theater mom with it. Like this was my new child and I was like filming videos with it. I did like an ASMR. I think that's what it's called when it's just like the audio of you like opening something. And I posted it on my Instagram and on my TikTok. And Joe Malone ended up messaging me. Um, and so they were like, we would love to send you the matching perfume to that scent. Or if you don't want that perfume, then if there's another scent that you would prefer. And it was just crazy because when I was looking to buy something in the first place with my Sephora gift card, I was deciding between getting the fragrance or the diffuser. And I ended up going with the diffuser because my friend Megan has it and she's told me how long it lasts. So I was like, let me just do that because it is a lot of money and I want to do the more like cost effective option, but not even kidding. I went into Sephora another couple times to buy some more stuff with my other gift card. And every time I went in, I was spraying myself with that perfume because I was like, when I'm around it, I need to spray it because it's honestly the most amazing scent on the planet. And I know scent is very subjective, so I will link this one for you guys, but I know that you might hate it and I might love it. So anyway, we have this beautiful bag here from Jo Malone and they sent over the Peony and Blush Suede fragrance. Again, packaging is stunning, but this scent is honestly amazing. So thank you so much Jo Malone for sending this over. I'm gonna link this exact scent, but um, they have a lot of amazing ones. So you guys should definitely check them out. Anyway, okay, so now that we're done with the unboxing, I am going to do my workout because I did not do it this morning <laughs> and then make some lunch. And I think probably the next time I will speak to you guys is later this evening because I'm going to shoot with Avery tomorrow morning in West Village and I want to do my outfits with you guys. Best roommate ever. Yay. Okay, so I've had an outfit change and I now need to get ready really, really quickly. I don't know why this keeps happening to me, but I'm going to Williamsburg tonight to go out with my boyfriend and his friends. And for some reason, the time has crept up. I have to be ready in like an hour and I need to shower. I was just trying to like save my hair with dry shampoo and stuff, as you guys saw earlier today, but that's just not going to happen. So I need to fully shower, get ready, and then be out the door because I don't want to make anyone else late. And I just like being on time in general. And I don't have time to show you guys my outfit. So I'm really sad about that, but kind of had a feeling this was going to happen, unfortunately. You guys will see all of the outfits over on my Instagram. I think a couple of them will probably already be posted by the time this video goes live. Um, but I also might show you them in a vlog tomorrow because we're gonna start a whole weekend vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so sorry about the chaotic, very abrupt ending to it, but I'm sure it's probably already an hour and a half long anyway. So I love you guys all so much and I hope to see you in my next video.